Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a video on how to wire a smoke detector to a pole station and then to a fire alarm. Let's get started. First, I'm going to teach you how to wire just a smoke detector to a fire alarm. So I'm just going to teach you these two. So what you are going to need for just doing these two together is you're going to need a power source, such as three 9-volt batteries. You're going to need one long wire, and then you're going to need two shorter wires. You're going to need a fire alarm, of course, a smoke detector, obviously, a couple screwdrivers, and then you're going to need some tape. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your three batteries um, and you're going to put them together. So as you can see, first put two like this with the opposite ends like that. So that way you have um, the skinny side, the, long, the fat side, the skinny, and then the fat. So then you take the, one of them and then you put it across both of them like that. And then you will make a power source. As you can see, this is now your power source because you have three 9-volt batteries together, which is 27 volts, which should be good for your alarm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you'll notice that there are two free terminals. One is small and it's round. The other is more like uh, octagon and it's larger. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your long wire and then you're going to put it inside of the skinny terminal like that and then you're going to tape it down with some tape so it stays okay so as you can see i have the long wire connected to one of the terminals so now you're going to take one of your short wires and then do the same with the other terminal okay so so far what you should have is you should have one long wire attached to the small terminal and then one short wire connected to the negative terminal so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the long wire that's connected to the positive terminal, which is the small terminal. You're going to connect it to the positive of your notification appliance or your fire alarm. Like, so just carefully screw it in like that. And that's good. So as you can see, we have the positive of the battery attached to the positive of the alarm. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the, one of the short the short wire that you connected to the battery and you're going to look for the positive or the negative on the back of your smoke detector. So connect this to the negative of your smoke detector. Uh, it should be marked clearly, but just screw it in like so. And then there, now you have one attached. Then all you have to do is take the other short wire and attach it to the positive of your smoke detector. So just attach it to the positive of your smoke detector, like that. Make sure the connections are tight. And then flip, flip the detector over. Now all you have to do is connect this last short wire to the negative of your fire alarm. So take that and then connect it to the negative, like that. There, as you can see, you have now wired their smoke detector to your fire alarm. So we can now test it with a magnet. As you can see, the detector has blinked and it's blinking pretty much. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a magnet, okay? And then we're going to put it onto the test part and then it should turn red. Wait for it. As you can see, now the device is flashing and it's in alarm. So that means we've successfully wired up our fire alarm. To turn off the to turn off the alarm, you just take off one of the wires from the battery and then it should uh, turn off. So now I'm going to teach you how to add a pull station or another smoke detector. So to do that, you take two more wires. As you can see, I have two more wires. Flip the smoke detector over connect the wires to the terminals as you can see like that one wire and then with the other one you do the same you just connect it like that and you should be good 
Okay, there. It's not the best wiring, but then you take this part and then you connect these two wires to the back of your pole station. So you take the terminals, of course, and wire it like that. I'm kind of rushing at the moment, but you know. Excuse me. Sorry for the delay. But you hook the wires up to the pole station. Now, when you pull the pole station, the alarm will also sound. So, now you've successfully completed your fire alarm circuit. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I hope this helped you. But, yeah, have a nice day.